good Thursday afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Thursdays. I just said Thursday. Market Intel Brief here at Top Gun Options. My name is Matthew Buckley. My call center is Wiz. What a great day. Well, looking at that chart right there, it isn't a great day, Wiz. It is if you're here at Top Gun Options and you know how to trade volatile markets. I'm having a great day, man. Had a Masagi this morning. Just did my episode 19 of our podcast, the last kind of debrief, so to speak, of my most recent journey uh, where I debriefed the 5 MEO today. So make sure you keep an eye out for that podcast. And I'm getting ready to go shooting, man, with Cody Shandraw from Ambria Capital and Daniel Carcillo, man, car bomb. Two-time NHL Stanley Cup champ and uh, founder of WeSana Health. They're going to be back in our movie, No Fallen Heroes. We're going to go shooting. And then tonight at 7 p.m., going to do our full throttle training. We did a great initial full throttle uh, training kickoff last night at 7 p.m. And two is tonight. Basic of calls and puts. What is the market and what the hell is an option? That's starting tonight. What the hell is an option? We'll take a look at the S&P 500 here as it implodes. An option allows you to do what I'm doing today, printing money as the market goes down. I have bearish trades on Amazon. I have bearish trades on the S&P 500 that are making money as the market implodes. Why is the market imploding? Well, we're going to get to that. How are we doing month to date? Month to date, this portfolio is up about 16000 bucks. On a, that's almost $17,000 on what? On a $100,000 model portfolio, man. So you ready for this? That's up about, what, 17% in, a, in 10 days. Okay, it doesn't matter how big your portfolio is, your portfolio could potentially be up 17% if you had got on board our full throttle uh, that we had last week, man. Look at that, 16625 bucks. It's Nove November. It's uh, February 10th. What's going on? Well... I told you this was going to happen. What happened today? Hey, you know what? Before we get to what happened today and what's going to happen, speaking about what's going to happen, next Friday at uh, February 18th at 10 a.m. Eastern, Bart, decorated Tomcat guy, Top Gun grad, combat strike lead. He's a CMT, a CTA, Series A, B, C, D, U.S. Naval Academy grad, mathematics, 500-pound head, folks. One of the top five FX traders in the world. I've been dying to grow Top Gun options in the past couple of years. I haven't. Why? Because I don't trust anybody on Wall Street. Most of them are scumbags. And I mean that with the nicest sense. Bless their hearts. Head to go.topgunoptions.com slash Tomcat. I trust Bart with my life. He's going to come on board and start what we're calling Tomcat charts. Free brief. The dude with an uncanny ability to predict what this white space is going to look like by looking at the left. Anyway, what happened? Well, other than Iran being able to hit Israel now and U.S. bases in Europe, other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how is the play? Pay no attention to this. Pay no attention to Ukraine. Pay no attention to China. Pay no attention to Iran. Pay no attention to North Korea. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris just exude strength. A strong unite. I'm joking. I can't even say any of that with a with a straight face. So here you go, man. The K Kabir Shakan can hit Israel and U.S. bases in Europe. And what do you think they're going to put on the top of one of these things? Well, no, Joe Biden's going to get a nuke. Uh, 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 OK, Barack Hussein Obama flew unmarked airplanes full of pallets of cash, not dollars, mind you, because that would have been against the law trading, giving them U.S. dollars. So Obama gave them what? Pallets of euros. Hmm. How'd that work out for us? Anyway, that's what's going on around the world. But what happened today? Let's go, Brandon. Inflation, A for, folks, I'm, I hate this. I, I'm 53. The last time inflation was this high, I, was, I wasn't even Keeley's age. My daughter's 14 now. I was 13. I kind of remember it because I remember gas lines. I remember Jimmy Carter. I remember having to wear a sweater, right? Malaise. When's the last time? the pre Why would the president of the United States use a term like malaise? Well, Kamala did that recently as well. Like, hey, things really suck. Yeah, you're right. U.S. inflation accelerates to 7 and a half percent. But you have these idiots in the administration like, all right, wages are up. Wages, unless they're up 7.6%. People are getting destroyed, Mr. President, Madam Vice President. You guys are awful.
This is bad. The Treasury, the, sh the yields on shorter term treasuries, 2%. We used to say with the with this above 1.5, tech names get destroyed. Uh, what did Wiz try and do three times today? But I sent it out to my lifetime and hunters people. Look at this. Three times today. Bear call spread on Amazon. 32.50, 32.30. I tried. What happened? Amazon. I hope some of you got filled. Look at Amazon. I sent out those trades right there, right there, and right here. Trying to get filled out. Ooh, a little bit of a bounce. I don't believe it. Folks, the tech names are going to get destroyed, hammered into the dirt. Unbelievable. Market starts pricing in rate cuts as hot CPI confirms Fed policy error imminent. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been listening to me for a while, God help you. Second of all, I've been right. I told you when Jerome Powell dropped the biggest financial nuke in history in March of 2020, what did I say? Okay, well, I get it. Pandemic, we're all going to die. No, we didn't. How about Democrats today? Oh, uh, in the blue states. The, the, the science has changed, and we're getting rid of our mask mandates. And we still got to wear it on an airliner. Uh, no, the science hasn't changed. I've been telling you the science since day one. You know what's changed for you Democrats in blue states? The polls. Why don't you just, like, tell the truth for once? Just admit, like, well, the polls have really changed, so we're changing. Science hasn't changed since day one, folks. Your little daisy print mask. I'm not even going to get started. But anyway, uh, what did I? Why was I on this rant? Because of Jerome Powell. After he dropped the nuke, and we kind of stabilized him. Like, stop, 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 stop pumping liquidity and crack into this market. You actually need to start raising interest rates right now if you want to stop landing. I've been saying this for a year and a half. Now, where's the quote smart money? Wow, we think the Fed might not be able to land this plane safely. Are you high? It's we're going to crash. They're, as of today, as of me ranting on this video, they are still – they're still pumping money in. The taper isn't complete, guys. They're still – they're throttling back the amount of liquidity they're pumping in. But, folks, this is the volunteer fireman who started the, 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 the fire, now racing to the fire, carrying buckets of gasoline. This is horrific, and it's – it, it not – it's going to end badly. It isn't. I, I told you this was going to happen. Oversold, overbought, volatility, we're heading lower, period. The Fed has to stop, will stop, pumping liquidity into this market and has to start cranking up interest rates. You know what Jerome Powell needs to do? A half a point in March won't be enough. You need to shock this – not the market. I was going to say the market. You need to shock the economy with a full point increase. It would be stunning, but guess what? Because half of inflation is mental, folks. You see these I did this stickers on your gas pump because of brand it's it's a it's a vicious John F. Kennedy Jr. death spiral, man. You think inflation's going higher, you see it, it it's self reinforcing. So guess what? If the Fed takes a baseball bat to inflation, it telegraphs like we're taking this seriously. But if he's gonna take this half pregnant approach of like a twenty five here and a twenty five there, as inflation is still raging, it's not going to help. This airliner is on fire. The engines just came off, and Jerome Powell's in the cockpit going, everything's fine. We're in the back of the plane, guys. But if you if you just listen to this 10-minute rant and go, I disagree with everything you're saying, good. That's what makes a market. You buy everything with both hands. Buy Amazon. Buy Microsoft. Buy short volatility. You do you. I'm going to do me, and I'm going to teach people. I wrote a book about it, folks, The COVID Crash, From Panic to Profit. Nailed the COVID crash to the day, made millionaires, and it's been absolutely incredible ever since. But we've nailed this, guys. We've predicted it. Glad to have Bart on board. Uh, next Friday, attend the free brief. Just see, he's an expert in this shit, man. Fibonacci, Elliott Wave, GAN, Elliott Wave Theory, Wisk Control, all of, it, all of it, man. Get on board because the guy's smart. I, I, I'm trying to hire myself out of a job by hiring dudes and ladies a hell of a lot smarter than I am, which is not hard. So get on board now. Go.topkinoptions.com slash Tomcat. We are going to limit seating to this. This is your standard TGO thing, man. I don't want a zoo. We like a nice, close, tight-knit squadron. So this ain't, ain't going to be a zoo, just like our other products and services, man. We kind of limit uh, uh, access, and we go to combat with the folks who are motivated and want to get on board. Okay, so go.topkinoptions.com. 
falconoptions.com slash Tomcat. Uh, my beautiful bride and I are hopping on an airliner tomorrow to head up to Vermont to see my son for his senior weekend, final uh, weekend of hockey up at Norwich University in Vermont. So no uh, brief tomorrow or anything like that, and we'll be back uh, Monday. So no solo Amazon, I think, uh, on Monday unless Goose wants to uh, pick it up. But uh, I haven't asked him yet, so probably not. Just keep an eye on your emails, okay? Have a great rest of your day, folks. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge, and God bless. Namaste. I'll see you tonight at 7 p.m. for Full Throttle. Fights on.